Hello, hello, hello! What's happening, everybody? MCOC Droid does back again for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. It is Monday, so you know what time it is. Weekly Crystal Opening Time. This one's a little bit later than normal. Just had a, a long day at work, but uh, yeah, let's just dive right into it because there's a fair amount of stuff to open, and I'm in the I'm at the point right now where, I mean, you will know what happens because you can just look at the title of this video, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a five-star today or not. I'm hoping that I am. I'd like to do a five-star basic, uh, mix things up a little bit, not only do features, but uh, but yeah, I, I have to trade in the stuff in the black ISO market, and I have to open up everything, obviously. Let's begin at the beginning with the daily crystals, and as you pretty much always, they are essentially uncollected crystals it's very hard to tell that these are cavalier with me usually because i tend to keep getting that kind of stuff just like the basic frags and tier 4 cc frags and that's about it so i'm very glad that they've come up with these cavalier objective crystals. well the objective crystals that are obviously cavalier based for me um so hopefully these will be a little bit better and i've got a bigger stack this time because i actually I uh, got stuff done early, so, you know, there we go, 500 five-star shards, in addition to the other stuff, which is not terribly exciting, uh, but formed another basic, so that's pretty darn cool, because didn't I just form one from the, uh, from the, uh, whatchamacallit, from the Daily Crystals? I'm gonna have to watch this back after I'm done recording, because did I just get two basics, basically? Wow, that was bad. Um, let's do the Black ISO Market stuff first. I mean, it is the Legendary Crystal Week, not the five-star featured Crystal Week. That'll be next week, of course. So let me just convert all of this stuff super duper quickly, and then I will go rapid fire open up pretty much everything below a four-star, um, and probably even the four-stars too, just to keep this moving. So there's that right there, and then let's go ahead and do, I am going to do the trade-in, so as you can see, so right there, that gets me to 76.55 in uh, five-star shards, and then I've got, you know, still a few four-stars to open, hopefully most of those should be max sig dupes, and then just everything else, so it's going to be pretty close, we'll see what happens. Um, I really hope now it's within 500 five-star shards, I mean, obviously 10,000 plus, but then within... We'll just say 10,500 five-star shards because then that one objective crystal really would make the difference. And that would make me quite happy, actually. Um, so, yeah, let's get into premiums. Um, I should have some fully formed ones. It really would be nice if they could organize this. Again, it's still kind of all over the place and scattered. What stuff gets grouped together where it's it's just all a mess and it seems like it changes every few days like i think it's fixed and then it goes back to just kind of being all scattered again so uh really hope they can formalize that every time a new update comes out now i'm like is this the time where in the patch notes it's going to say that the crystal screens have been fixed and still haven't seen it so you know maybe next update we shall see um let's see let's go ahead and grab the five and then i have what one more or three more excuse me three more so that'll be 18 premiums from shards one at least one uh, gold drop would be nice so a four star there are a couple three stars nothing hiding back there nothing but two stars uh like i said I'm, i need every four star dupe i can get um because i would like to make it happen today i'm feeling a basic i am definitely feeling a basic and this is just not going to help me out. So a few a few three-star dupes, thankfully. So that's some more four-star shards. But uh, yeah, that was uh, kind of dry so far. Let's see if we can spice things up a bit. So let's go ahead while I am right here. Nice even stack of nine of these three-star crystals. Silver Surfer is the most recent to come in. Um, oh, that's right. One more. Sorry, I did say nine. Assuming most of these will be max sig dupes. And yeah, they're pretty, yeah, probably a couple in here that aren't, like Ronin, I would assume. And I would assume correctly, good. So all of the others are max sig dupes. Um, that would be nice if I can get back over 6,000 shards so I can do three, three, uh, three four stars, excuse me. Um, don't think this is gonna make a difference, but what the heck, since we're here. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Still 800 shards short. Uh, but here we go. Nice stack of uh, Maxig crystals here. So that gets me 
a lot closer. Uh, a couple of these ultimate crystals open. I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to try and keep this moving. Uh, mostly for myself, in case I have to pause and go edit, you know, go like run a couple of quests real quick or something for some more shards. Um, hopefully not. I do want to save these mystic and mutant crystals. Most likely I will... What the heck just popped up? Oh, level up. Oh, well, that's not going to change anything right now. Um, I want to save the mutant mystic crystals. You know, Marvel Insider will have more of those with the bundles. So I'll kind of wait till the end and uh, open them all up, basically. Sorry, I'm just doing a scan. Here we go. Glad I saw that. That's another Max Sig three-star dupe. So that'll be another... Uh, 110 four star shards most likely let's go ahead and open up that right there uh but yeah no i'll wait till the end i still have a couple of the milestones to finish anyway and i've got uh you know obviously marvel insider rewards will be a while um for the next set of bundles did do a video on that um very very pleased with this month's bundles so check that out if you have not watched it already that is popping up in the corner or at least it should have had should have already there we go um, okay, let's go ahead and do these two Grandmasters, because I'm going to go ahead and assume that they will be three stars. Um, I'm just going to rapid pop these two, and I am correct. There's a doom, not the doom I was hoping for today, especially if I am able to do a five-star basic. That, the three-star doom is, is missing a couple of stars there, but there we go. Crossed over to 6,000 shards, so I can do three more of these. Um, I'll just go ahead and wrap and pop these as well. Um, ooh, I don't know. I know Warlock is not going to be Max Sig. I think the other two are. Nope. All right. Nope. So only one to Max Sig out of three. That is not good. That is not what I was hoping for here because that is going to make it a lot harder to get to 10,000. Um, I mean, that should hopefully be another 275 right there. Ah, yeah, that kind of sucks, actually, <laughs> um, if I'm being honest. So I've got the the uh, fully formed four star. I'll go ahead and open up that real quick. Let's just rapid pop that as well. And pfft. wow, the time when I really need some max sig crystals, some extra five star shards. I open up four four stars and only one of them is max sig. One of them is new. The other two are just regular dupes like way to stick it to me as even with this kind of stuff um but if you want to make it up to me just give me a five star doom right here and please thanks so much <laughs> obviously any five star will do because it's the 20 percent luck but uh, uh not expecting it of course so let's just tap it here see if i can get at least a four star max sig crystal um anything coming around not at all not at all that warlock would have been a very sweet awakening that would have saved this opening that is for sure but uh but instead it's a two it's kind of a too little too late kind of deal here with getting a max sig four star dupe because i can open up this and yeah there we go i mean I would have needed the other three four stars to be max sig dupes to make it happen right now. I'm 700 shards short. Am I? Let me do a scan here. I mean, unless I pause this and go do some other stuff. That might be it. Um, yeah, nothing here. I mean, I can open up some, like, Cavalier crystals, but I'm really not feeling it right now. I'd much rather save units. Obviously, there's nothing here. There's some bundles in the store, but... Uh, I don't want to spend any money right now either, so, yeah. Well, again, I mean, you knew what was going to happen based on the title of this video, and here we are. I am not going to open up a five-star this week. It does feel kind of weird, but uh, that just means I'm going to have to go hard this week, and uh, for sure I will have one next week when the sigil resets, well, when the black ISO market resets, and I'm able to buy a cheapy featured but, uh, yeah, I might have to do something sometime throughout, you know, in the middle of the week or something. Um, incursions are going live on Wednesday, and I definitely want to hit those. It looks like those will have a decent amount of five-star shards available and rewards. Uh, I mean, I'm not even close to opening up one of these crystals here. As you can see at the top, I've only got 8,500. So based on the rewards and how hard I'm able to hit it, 
uh, maybe by the end of the month, but uh, certainly not anytime soon, even for just like a basic at 22,000. I would have some work to do. Uh, yeah, all right. I guess that's it. So, yeah, let's let's look at the new champ that I just got, which is a four-star Coal Obsidian. Um, I guess that's where we're going to end it. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below, as always, did you have any spicy, juicy polls this past week, or did you get any of the dreaded Kabam trollovers like I kind of got here today? Nothing really exciting or amazing? Um... Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, ring the bell. All that stuff really helps me out, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. It's going to keep the content rolling. You know, feel free to, of course, always hit me up on Twitter or come join the Discord. Link is in the description below. And, yeah, like I said, I will keep the content rolling as much as I can every single day uh, for you all to, to have more to watch. You know, even if it's for a few minutes a day keep your minds off of things really hope everyone is staying safe out there uh please stay home wash your hands be kind to each other be patient with each other thank you so much for watching take care and i will see you next time